بسم الله دير وي دايري سيمز لايك ا بيسك نيم فور ماي دايري سو ام انا كول ات وي ان دير وي ان I'll tell you why. Maybe sometime in the future. It's a little embarrassing right now. But anyways. Here we go. Dear we and Sometimes I feel like solving problems only creates more problems to solve. And behind every progress, there's an infinite number of steps I'm going to have to take. So my brain says, what is the point of it all? If only after every step, there's another step to take. Who has the energy for all those steps over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? So I find myself holding on to my current problems that I know the solution to for as long as possible until some external pressure forces me to move on. I see it. Now, even as I write this journal entry, I was in bed trying to go to sleep midday because I don't want to get up and think. Because then I would have to face the guilt or the work, which will only have more work behind it. This is what happens when my brain is only focused on the negative. So it tries to protect me as much as possible by turning on the fear signal and getting me to stop moving immediately. It says whatever pressure you put, whatever this is, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we don't want it. <laughs> What my conscious soul needs to remind my brain is that every step comes with gifts. With every step comes joy and strength. With every problem solved comes power that was hidden in that problem. With every quote unquote work, I do. I grow in self satisfaction and self respect. These steps I'm taking are not as meaningless and devoid of life as my brain paints it out to be. Every choice is an adrenaline roller coaster, and at the end, there's a spa treatment wrapped into that single problem. The more I do, the easier it gets. That's the rule of life. Otherwise, there would be no such thing as a runner's high. Not every step will be as heavy as the one before it. Every step gets lighter and easier until I'm no longer feeling the steps. Just the joy, the high, the pure adrenaline. So push through. Push through these problems as fast as you possibly can. Don't waste a single second holding on to them. Don't hold on to them until they are burning you alive. Learn to let go and move on until motion becomes your constant without even thinking about it. When I watch movies, shows, YouTube, or binge something, I'm selling my life to view someone else living their life. I'm selling my heartbeats, moments with my loved ones. And the things I love, my personal progress, to watch someone else's. And majority of the time, this sale is a complete loss, complete robbery. Because in exchange, I'm purchasing time in Jahannam. Sheesh! Nah, that won't do. I'm alive now, so I'm stepping in. Even if my nephew is screaming for this. No more. Absolutely no more. My heartbeats are too precious for me to burn them in the hellfire. Maybe I'll even record my life so I become the movie people watch and get closer to Allah. What an entry. So, <sighs> this gets me thinking because on my vision board, I have given up procrastination as a goal for this year. And really, I, for the longest I've thought procrastination was just a part of me I could never, ever get rid of. That is just how I'm wired. But I realized I have taught myself to 
work on survival mode. So when I am, when I have something that is a deadline or something urgent or some pressure, huge, right? I I find work so much easier, so easy. But when I have time, it becomes so much harder. So in order for me to move from survival to thriving, one of the essential things and pillars I need to do is to give up procrastination, to move towards being able to plan and 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 not have to do huge amounts of work at one time, but to do it little at a time to systemize. It's hard to systemize with procrastination. <laughs> you know, you could build it, but still you have to be able to break it down. And if I'm looking at long-term success, it's it's essential. So I've been trying to dig into the the mental. What is it that's, what is it that gets me to work like this and operate like this and it's so interesting when I wrote this I wasn't thinking about this but I was just sharing what is it that was frustrating me about having to work when I don't have a deadline (laughs) you know so turns out I really had a negative view on everything and I just allowed that to consume my body and then let's talk about that fear our brain really tries to protect us so it puts it's like actual physical fear. I have a fear of sending an email or I have a fear of researching something. It's like an actual fear. And I would sit there and be like, this is so weird. Like my life is not threatened right now. Why do I feel like I'm about to die? <laughs> well, we learn and grow. I'll keep, um, documenting it's interesting this series is actually quite difficult because i promised myself that i will be honest you know let's get naked is not a (laughs) it's not a just a, a for show thing it's actually real so i've been kind of dreading being honest but you know what let's get naked That's the only way we're going to move forward in life. Um, That's it for today. Thank you for listening. This is Mona Shahomar. And peace be with you. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa la taqulanna li shay'in in. And never say of anything, I will definitely do this tomorrow. Without adding, if Allah so wills. But if you forget, then remember your Lord and say, I trust my Lord will guide me to what is more right than this. Suratul Kahf, Ayah 23 and 24.